All of the interesting problems we face today uh, are at the intersection of multiple disciplines. We need students who can focus outside of North America, UK, EU, the usual global north uh, discourse that we usually pick up at university very well. And this could be like from migration, from climate change, to, uh, to histories of also uh, different, uh, not only European uh, countries, but also countries in the global south just to understand what are the kind of histories that enabled all these world changes to take place. Because what happens in a different country, for example, in the Global South, affects other countries in the Global North as well. We have a very diverse community and all the classes are interdisciplinary, which basically means that we look at world problems from different angles, which to me is very important because in such a complex world as we live in now, it's impossible to look at complex problems from only one side. This study uh, has as its defining feature that everything was designed from the ground up to be interdisciplinary. You don't just go uh, to the Faculty of Health, Medicine and Life Sciences for a public health course and then you come to the Faculty of Law for an international law course. No, instead we've been working for years to kind of build a curriculum that bridges the different disciplines and that also teaches you what happens when you cross an interdisciplinary boundary. So you can do a lot. I think definitely also global studies is becoming more and more relevant and a lot of issues they require global studies students. So I think you can do anything basically from like working for the UN, uh, the European Union, but also from for non-governmental organizations um, or maybe organizations like Greenpeace. And I think that's mostly also because we have the broad perspective view. So you really have possibilities almost everywhere. One of the first things when, when we've roughly had a sketch of what this program was going to be is we reached out to potential employers. Um, we've got a lot of enthusiastic letters of support, uh, among others from uh, two Dutch national ministries, from Amnesty International, from employers associations in the business world saying, indeed, we do need more people who have strong interdisciplinary skills and who can bridge uh, the Netherlands with emerging markets in Africa, Latin America and Asia. Problem-based learning, it's different from the traditional way of learning in that students uh, come together and then we look at this task and then we brainstorm about it. And then later on students go and do their self-study and then afterwards we come to the post-discussion and they discuss what did the students find about this task. So this is basically what um, PBL is all about. And it also really helps the students to grow personally. The students also get that confidence to be able to speak up in front of their peers. They are able to critically think and analyze a certain, a certain uh, issue, by example. I definitely think the diversity affects our discussions because I think like often if I had a discussion in my high school, we all came kind of from the same upbringing. So now we have a lot of different people from different backgrounds, so you get points in the discussion that I would have never thought of by myself, which are very interesting and that brings the discussion to a new level, I would say. Students who choose this study uh, tend to be interested in complex societal problems and thankfully we have a lot of them. So usually their motivation is I would like to make a positive contribution to society, I would like to have my voice heard and I'm now looking for the skills uh, to, to pursue a career in this and to you know, dedicate my life to something. The goal of the study is to make uh, a contribution to solving complex problems. Uh, complex problems that you cannot solve simply by taking people from different disciplines and putting them in a room together without having them develop a common language and understanding of what happens when you cross disciplinary boundaries and even sometimes a shared vocabulary. 